In this podcast episode, Bill Maher interviews Sage Steele, a sports commentator and journalist. The conversation covers a wide range of topics, including politics, race, marriage, and the media. Steele thanks Maher for speaking up for black men and addressing why some have become conservative. Maher mentions that politics is like a sport, with the Republican debate taking place in California that night. They discuss the debate and how it is like a sport, with the absence of Donald Trump making it less meaningful. They talk about the body language and performances of the candidates during the debates. Maher comments on the clumsiness of some candidates and how politics is a job that doesn't require many skills. They discuss the performance of Vaughn Miller, a football player, during an interview on Maher's show. Steele finds Miller charming and mentions that he is a scary brilliant guy. The conversation then shifts to their personal experiences with politics and elections. Steele mentions that she voted for John McCain in the past, while Marr voted for Barack Obama. They discuss their reasons for voting the way they did and their opinions on the candidates. They talk about the progress that has been made in terms of race relations in America. Steele shares her personal experience with her parents, who are an interracial couple. Marr mentions the history of the Republican Party supporting the rights of African Americans before the party switched to the Democrats. They discuss the current state of division and ugliness in America. Steele mentions the hypocrisy of the woke movement and how it silences opposing opinions. Marr agrees and emphasizes the importance of respecting different opinions and having open conversations. They talk about the vaccine mandates and the silencing of dissenting voices. Steele shares her experience of being required to get the vaccine to continue working in her field. Marr mentions a court case that recognized the collusion between the government and tech companies to silence dissenting voices. Steele shares her experience of interviewing Joe Biden after he was elected. She mentions the technical issues they had during the interview and how Biden struggled to finish his sentences. Marr comments on the human aspect of Biden's struggles and how it is heartbreaking to witness. They discuss their different opinions on Biden and Trump. Steele mentions that she didn't vote for Biden but still respects people's reasons for voting for him. Marr agrees and emphasizes the importance of respecting different perspectives. They talk about their personal experiences with Trump. Steele mentions meeting him at a golf course and having a conversation about football. Marr gives Trump credit for bringing back sports during the pandemic but criticizes his initial response to the crisis. The episode continues with a discussion about the media and the need for a good CNN. Marr mentions his advice to CNN to be more open-minded and respectful of different opinions. The conversation continues with a discussion about the origins of COVID-19 and the possibility that it originated in a lab Steele expresses her belief that it is important to consider all possibilities and not dismiss the lab theory. She mentions that the consensus among the general public may not be the same as the consensus among experts, as many facts are suppressed or not reported. They then talk about the initial response to the pandemic and the fear that was prevalent at the time. Steele shares her personal experience of being in Connecticut during the early days of the pandemic and the measures that were taken, such as washing mail and leaving packages untouched for a week. She reflects on how little was known about the virus at the time and how people were willing to do whatever it took to flatten the curve. The conversation then shifts to Steele's personal life, as she mentions that she had just gone through a divorce when the pandemic hit. She talks about the challenges of being a single mother during the lockdown and the impact it had on her and her children. They discuss the role of vaccines in the pandemic and the uncertainty surrounding their effectiveness. Steele shares her own experience of getting vaccinated and how she believes it may have spared her from a more serious bout of COVID-19. She emphasizes the importance of acknowledging that there is still much we don't know about the human body and the long-term effects of vaccines. The conversation then delves into the state of journalism and the suppression of certain viewpoints. 
Steele talks about her experience at ESPN and how she felt silenced and unable to express her opinions freely. She criticizes the lack of consistency in the rules and the picking and choosing of which opinions are allowed to be expressed. They discuss the polarization of society and the need for open and honest conversations. Steele expresses her desire to have discussions that challenge conventional wisdom and allow for different viewpoints to be heard. She mentions the importance of separating personal opinions from journalistic responsibilities and the need for consistency in the rules. The conversation touches on the topic of race and politics, with Steele expressing her frustration with the expectation that she, as a black woman, should hold certain political beliefs. She criticizes the hypocrisy of this expectation and the idea that one's skin color should determine their political views. They also discuss the importance of individuality and the dangers of lumping people together based on their race, gender, or sexual orientation. Steele emphasizes the need for open-mindedness and the ability to have respectful conversations with people who hold different opinions. The episode continues with Bill Maher expressing his excitement about starting off the week with Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, as a guest on his show. He considers it great timing and mentions that he plans to have a balanced conversation with DeSantis, highlighting both the aspects he likes and dislikes about the governor. Bill Maher then discusses the issue of liberals being hesitant to appear on his show. He mentions that it is surprising to him, as Democrats should want to do his show more than Republicans. He points out that many Republicans are willing to come on his show, while Democrats like AOC and Kamala Harris would never do it. Maher finds it fascinating and questions what it says about liberals who are afraid to engage in open dialogue and be challenged on their ideas. The lack of diverse viewpoints in mainstream media is also a topic of discussion. Maher criticizes MSNBC for only presenting one point of view and not challenging their guests. He believes that while the liberal point of view is often right, it is important to have different perspectives and engage in healthy debate. Maher expresses his willingness to challenge guests and call out ideas that he finds questionable, mentioning that he loves it when he gets passionate about a topic. Bill Maher reflects on his long career and the fact that there is a record of his past statements and interviews. Despite this, he notes that Republicans are still willing to come on his show, suggesting that they are braver and more willing to engage in open dialogue. He describes Republicans as happy warriors who are not afraid to face opposition and stand their ground. The conversation then shifts to the topic of talk shows, specifically, The View. Marr mentions that he tried to get Sage Steele on The View, but suggests that she should do his show instead. Marr expresses his desire for Steele to be a part of the Club Random family and emphasizes that he values her presence on the show. The episode concludes with both Marr and Steele expressing their gratitude for the conversation and their excitement for future interactions. Marr thanks Steele for being a part of the show and considers it a blessing to have her as a guest. They discuss the possibility of building a studio in Miami or Fort Lauderdale and express their desire for the show to have an intimate and exclusive feel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.